I am so happy that you've all come to visit me today here at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today we will be unboxing Sergeant Jin Urso from LEGO, while we continue to get acquainted with the heroes from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. In the last video, we were unboxing and examining Baze Malbus, the buildable figure. If you want to watch that video, links to it are in the description below. Today, we will explore the box and its additions, build the figure, and test out all of her abilities. You will find out more about Lego and Jin Ursa today. But warning, minor spoilers to the movie are up ahead. Friends, don't forget that we will be happy to hear from you about what toy you want to see us unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our best to unbox your toy here on This Side Up as soon as we can. I always say that LEGO bricks are of a very high quality. True to its motto, only the best is good enough. The LEGO group has been emphasizing the importance of high quality since 1932, where the founder, Old Kirk Kirkaniston, began making his wooden toys. High quality and safe products have remained the focal point for the LEGO group throughout the years, and it still is. LEGO products are tested rigorously to live up to the strictest safety and quality standards, as well as to our own high expectations. This approach has made children and adults return to the LEGO products time and time again. So let's start to enjoy today's buildable figure. Let's examine the box. The box is a standard side for the toys in this series. I really like the design of the background. It looks like a real scene from one of the films. Of course, all the boxes have this style. On one side, our Toy Warrior stands full length in a combative pose, featuring her blaster rifle that even fires, an arm swinging battle function, and even a detachable back-mounted truncheon. On the other side, there are some pictures showing off her weapons and other figures in the series. Ooh, here is one of the, my favorite figures from the new movie, the rude version of C-3PO, K-2-S-O. The box opens in another way. No tape, just push a special place and that's all. Cool, I like it even more now. Let's get all the stuff out and take a look. The way of packaging is a little bit different. In the big packet, there are parts of the body, then all kinds of fittings. Jin's cool head, and parts of her weapon. And finally, instructions, of course. A very useful piece. I'm pretty great at building Legos at this point, but even I still use instructions from time to time. Okay, I'm ready to go. Jin Erso was a human soldier and former criminal who became a pivotal member of the Alliance to restore the Republic when she led Rogue One in stealing the Death Star plans during the Battle of Scarif. Very small spoilers ahead. Jin transmitted the plans to the Alliance fleet that arrived in orbit, but the Death Star still soon fired on Scarif in an attempt to eliminate the Rebel Scum. I mean Rebel Threat. The fate of the Rogue One team is very sad, but their sacrifice was absolutely not in vain. Due to these plans, the weapon was destroyed by Luke Skywalker during the Battle of Yavin 4 in Return of the Jedi. Moving on, let's open up all the packets and start to build our brave warrior. I like to put all the pieces in one big pile. It's more interesting to try to look for the parts after that. Here's Jin's head. Jin has a very pretty but very serious face. And she's even in her headwear from the movie. Awesome! Everything looks pretty ready now. Let's take a look at the instructions as we start to build. As always, first is the body.
body! Look, something is even spinning inside. Oh, that's awesome. Then we turn to the legs. All the joints work very well, so you can move the limbs in really any battle pose you want. And now the body's ready. We only need to make the hands and attach the head. mechanism is moving inside of our hands. I really haven't seen anything like this before, especially in the previous figures. And now, the finishing touch. We put on her head. As for me, the head's a little bit big for the whole body, and it looks a little unnatural, but frankly, still very cool. To fulfill her image, we need her weapon. Oh yeah, let's build it. In this case, I always follow the instructions. and the blaster is ready. Now Jin looks perfect. Very cool. Let's test out the rifle. Bang, boom, works great. And now, I have a question for all the Star Wars Lego fans out there. My question is, what was the very first Star Wars model made in 1999? I'll wait for your answers in the comments below. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Baze Malbus meets our brand new Jin. Hey, girl. Who are you? Why, me? I'm Jin Erso. Hmm. And where are you coming from? I'm from that box, right over there. Oh, that's awesome. Nice box, Jin. Yeah, that's cool, but let's steal the plans of the Death Star. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on a second. Uh, okay, I'll do that, but can I take my friend Cheroot? Great! We're all quite the rebellious team! At last, it's time to rate this toy. First is safety. Four points. I think this spring-loaded shooter can hurt if you use it in the wrong way. Second is quality. Five points. Everything fits in very well and moves just how you'd want it to. Next is originality. Five points for the awesome mechanisms that move around in her hands. Plus, I mean, come on, it's Jyn Erso. Packaging, five points. Cool battle scene on the background. And finally, the price. The average price of this toy is from about $25 to $30. On some sites, you can find it even cheaper though. That's awesome. Whew, dear friends, I hope you had as much fun building this Lego figure as I did of Jyn Erso. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions, and remember to think of the toy that you would like me to unbox next. And I'll see you soon here at This Side Up. Bye bye!
I am so happy that you've all come to visit me here today at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today, we will be unboxing a Star Wars buildable figure by Lego. I love Legos and Star Wars, so I'm really excited. Today's hero is Chiru Imue, a blind warrior from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. In the last video, we were unboxing and examining Hot Wheels by Megablox. If you want to find out more about this toy, links to the video are in the description below. And now, I'll tell you what we have for you today. We will take this box, look at what's inside, build the figure, and during this, you will find out about the history of LEGO and all its toys. So, let's get to it. Friends, don't forget, that we will be happy to hear from you about what toy you want to see us unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our absolute best to unbox your toy here on This Side Up as soon as we can. The name Lego is an abbreviation of two Danish words, leg and go, meaning play well. The name is pretty ideal. The Lego group was founded in 1932 by Ole Kirk Christensen. The company itself has passed from father to son and is now owned by Kjeld Christensen, a grandchild of the founder. It's come a long way over the past 80 years from a small carpenter's workshop to a modern global enterprise now that is one of the world's largest manufacturers of toys. The Lego brick has undergone extensive development over the years, but the foundation remains the traditional Lego brick. The brick in its present form was launched in 1958. The interlocking principle with its tubes makes it unique and offers literally unlimited building possibilities. It's just a matter of getting your imagination going and letting a wealth of creative ideas emerge through play. So let's look at the box first. It's not very big and it's pretty dark, but it is very informative. It carries the Star Wars style, minimalistic and mysterious. On both sides, you can see the images of our hero. On one side, he stands full length in a combative pose. You can also see age limits and the size of the figure. On the other side, there are some pictures showing the work of his spring-loaded shooter and even other figures in the series. That's pretty neat. So let's open the box. Well, I can already say that it's a lot easier than the Hot Wheels box in the last video, but what's inside? There are three packets here. Nice! Of course, there's instructions as well. All the details are laid out according to their size. Here are the small pieces, and here are the parts of the body. And here's his trench coat, or maybe even a skirt. We'll see. Hmm, I think we should look at the instructions first. It's really detailed. Every page shows you a step-by-step -step scheme for building this figure. I think even a little child can do this. And at the end, there's a bright picture of all the toys from this series. Can I be honest? I want all of them. At its start in 1999, Star Wars was the first officially licensed LEGO themed release, alongside with Winnie the Pooh. This theme is based on material from the Star Wars franchise of films, cartoon series, comic books, video games, and even other media. Wow, they're everywhere. The theme covers all eight main films, along with the Clone Wars movie and TV series, the Star Wars Rebels TV series, and anthology films such as Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. So far, from 1999 to 2011, there have been 236 LEGO Star Wars sets, including regular sets and even Star Wars minis. Let's 
begin. I opened all the packets with the small and big bricks one by one. In the last packet, we have a piece of fabric. As I can see, it is a textured tunic of our warrior monk. Oh, I have one more packet with the head of our hero. I think that might be important. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh, wow, it's well done. Look at his eyes. Our hero has a very serious face and plastic hair. Cool, but it's high time that we build his body. And it looks like, yeah, the body is ready. So what's next? I think I'll build his legs. But he does look kind of strange without any hands, and I think the head might help with that too. Let's go on. Well, his hands are ready. Now the most important part, the head. Our hero is ready. I was gonna say he looks nice, but he looks tough. Imwe was a blind human male, born on the moon Jedha in 52 of the Galactic Year BBY. One of the guardians in the Wills, an order of spiritual warrior monks he was active during the days of the Galactic Empire and worked as a hermit preacher in Jeddah City alongside his friend and protector, Baze Malbus. Inwe became part of the volunteer group of rebels tasked with stealing the plans of the first Death Star. However, Inwe did not make it through the Battle of Scarif in the year Zero BBY after assisting Jin Erso and Cassian Andor in breaking into the Imperial Archives. They did succeed, though. I have one more thing to build. What kind of warrior can we have if he doesn't have a weapon? Kids, remember to be careful while playing. Don't shoot your friends in the eyes or any of the other sensible parts of the body. And now, I have a question for all the Star Wars lovers out there. My question is, what did Emwave repeat when they were imprisoned in Guerrera's hideout? I'll wait for your answers in the comments below. Hint, he says it a lot. Now it's ready. Let's test the shooter. Load the spring. Oh no, it's Kylo Ren. Look out. Bang. Yeah, 360 no scope headshot. Super. At last, it's time to rate this toy. First is safety. Four points. Lego makes great toys, but don't forget to use them in the right way, and they have lots of small parts. Second is quality. Five points. All the materials look great and are really rewarding to touch and play with. The figure is balanced so that you can really put him in any position that you want and he'll still stand up. Next, originality. Five points. I love this figure, and with this kind of playability, you really won't find anything better. 
Packaging, four points. Stylish, but a little bit gloomy layout. Adults will like it, I think, more than children. Finally, we get to the price. The average price of this toy is from $25 to $30. Totally worth it. Dear friends, I hope that you like this buildable and highly posable LEGO Star Wars Chirrut Inway figure as much as I do. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions and suggestions. So don't forget to think about the toys you would like us to unbox here with me on this side up. So until then, take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!